Okay, this is the starboard, and Kim Kona will be walking us through some of the advantages of using a starboard. This is uh, basically like an interactive whiteboard. It has some various controls on the side, made by Hitachi. And the first thing, one of the things things that she uses. She's going to use it with her docu camera and this is the docu camera. She's placed a poem on the docu camera and then go ahead and Kim and you can talk us through what you have the kids do. Okay so I placed the poem underneath the document camera and I press the pen and a color and then if we're talking about um, dialogue we can go through the poem and I can say Look at the first stanza, come up and highlight dialogue. So they'll come up here and highlight dialogue. Very neat. And then you can change the pen color. Could you show sure. me how you're doing that? Sure. Then we can go to red. Let's go to red. Very neat. Um, yellow is more of a highlighting piece, but again, it's thicker. Very neat. And that's used with, you have to have AverVision Plus running, correct? Yes, that program has to be loaded on with the document camera. Okay. And can you now show us how you could, uh, now you would use just a standard PowerPoint, if you could call up a PowerPoint. And so now you would create any PowerPoint that you normally do, and she's going to do that. She's going to call up one and, um, and walk us through that, too, if you remember, but it doesn't matter. So she's just selecting any PowerPoint. And now her PowerPoint slides will come up. And instead of sitting behind her desk, she can be in front of her class. She's taking them through, and they're doing their normal. Uh, uh, so now they would be doing their count orally, or doing their. Or go ahead and lead me through, Kim. Right. Would... So we would do this out loud together, sitting in a group using slates, and then after the lesson, I would just click on here to show them a quick clip of that task that we just completed. Oh, there we go. Alice was strolling through Numberland when she suddenly heard a lot of shouting and screaming. Okay, great. Could you go back to the PowerPoint and then do the spotlight and screen block? Everything that's sevens. Okay. So now she's going to show us where if she doesn't want the class to see all of the slide, she can do a screen block. And you're doing the screen block where now? Okay. So my um, starboard has to be up for that. So okay. So she's she's gonna launch her. And starboard is again what? That's the standard software to yes. create Lessons. a uh, a lesson in um, a lesson in your well, using so this starboard. This is uh, starboard software coming up right now. This is that block. So there is the, so this is from her tools. So wait a minute, Kim, it's just showing over here. So this is from the tools and she's selecting this block, which allows her screen. Can you show me that again? It's block and she can even move it to the side. So it's like almost covering what she doesn't want the students to see. Then she could also use a highlighting tool. Highlighting tool is. Um, well, this is the. Uh, oh, so there she's showing us another tool that uh, if she draws a triangle, it'll snap it and make a perfect uh, triangle. So. Or a perfect circle. So a perfect circle, it'll instantaneously, and it'll adjust. Very nice. 
And then show us how you move that page. She puts a fist down and moves it up and then could you do a math problem for us Kim how you, she normally does numerous math problems so here she is showing the kids a math problem for them to uh, do and then advancing that board up and very we can cool change the pen you can change the pen and you could do that from the side here too as well, Kim, right? If the you have so if she wants to change the color, she yeah. could go to the side and just simply select mm -hmm. off the screen with her hand and select those different uh, colors. Mm -hmm. So and these are all the various tools. And Kim was telling me that you can spend hours and hours learning this. And uh, her school provides additional training. And she would recommend after you become a, quote, beginner learner that you would re-engage with the program and get more training. And then you'll learn even more. Now that uh, when I was observing her class, she was actually using. And she was teaching the kids about cardinal uh, directions. And so she's typing that in right now. And this particular one was called Mouse and Cheese. And so she's going to make this full screen, and then there's a mouse there. And go ahead and explain, Kim, what you had the kids do. So I have the kids on their slates as they're watching tell me which direction that the mouse has to travel. And so then they direct the mouse, and I either have a student or myself tap the correct cardinal direction. So it's very interactive. She can have the children come up and move the mouse, or as the teacher, she can decide. And she's not sitting at behind her desk. She's very close to her students or sitting in front of her uh, watching that. And then maybe the one where they chose. So then there's numerous programs. This next one was a little bit more interactive. Uh, and the kids would actually, they, they were given, they had a whiteboard in front of them, their own, they had their own personal whiteboard in front of them, correct? Yes. And they were choosing uh, their choices. So where were those whiteboards? Oh, right here. So each child had a going to continue through there when you're making a starboard presentation um, there are shapes that are available and then you can take the shape and move it wherever you want you can spin the shape so now she's going back to the chart and selecting so you have an instant um, And so now she could put points on here. She could do any type of graphing right away. Um, and the, the, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's automatically giving you the Cartesian coordinates, which is pretty cool, as soon as she drops them up and even moves them around to their position. So pretty neat. And and then there was kind of a science clip art in here as well. Where was that? We found that. Kind of buried in here somewhere. And then you had a menu up, and then. Okay, um, that's right. Uh, yeah. So she's going to the side, and then this is. Uh, she's clicking, the, and then you went to. Well, yeah, you could go to chemistry. So the clip art in these starboards is a lot more. Um, yeah, go to laboratory equipment. That could be helpful. And sometimes it's hard to find a beaker or that, but these are very educational. Uh, there's a graduated cylinder, um, more graduated cylinder, Erlenmeyer flask, 
lots of great things there uh, for your students to see and talk about. And if you want to bring one over. Then you could bring one over so you could literally set up your experiment and be drawing and showing. Oh, and there we go. So now she's going to make it bigger here. So you can see she's going to make this by going to the side. You can expand out and make that big. So the similar handles are available in these objects, just like in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. So if you know those, you should be able to navigate through. So very cool. Lots of clip art in there. Amazing amounts of clip art in there. So you have geography, you have history, maps, and you can find these on Google and clip arting, but these are just so accessible. Uh, there's some planes that you said. These are for maps, so very, very detailed. Very cool. So she's just grabbing right out of her bin and then able to. Very nice. So you got a fractionating tower there instantly. Very neat. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kona. You're welcome.